mental disease, suicide, and all those negative things that isn't advertiser friendly. Items and the policies of the Institute, you're not allowed to talk about self-infliction or, or, or suicide. So this video will never make any money. Okay. But I also don't want people to know that I do have bipolar. So I had a nice video when I was admitted to a resort as such. Um, I actually admitted myself. I signed myself in. The medical aid only paid for like three days and refused to pay for the rest. Uh, so old Joe left and I'm getting confused between Joe's life story and my life story. It sounds very similar except, you know, he does all the bad things. So, a lot of people talk about bipolar and have bipolar shows that are really boring, depressing, and all in all, I don't want to watch these shows because I think bipolar people are very interesting people because I find this a lot, and that is people that suffer from depression or mainly from depression, and then they refuse to accept they have depression, and then they eventually the doctors you know diagnose them with bipolar and then they're happy but then they they're depressed the whole time <laughs> it's not what bipolar is about bipolar for me depression is the good side of bipolar um, manic is the bad side um, old Joe one day he was sitting in a pub and a guy's girlfriend came and sat next to him for some other reason though she wanted to use the ashtray or something and Joe just kept on talking to his friend who was sitting on the other side of the table on running comes the hero the girlfriend's boyfriend very upset that she's sitting next to me and I'm like well, take her. I, I didn't invite her. She came and sat next to me. And in an aggressive move, this person puts his hand on the, puts his glass down on the table, leans onto his hands on the table, leans forward at me, and says he's gonna fuck me up. Joe then goes uh, goes ahead and looks at the guy and just easily because he's leaning on his forearms just wax his hands out of <laughs> slap the guy's hands open and he fell on his chin on his glass and cut his old chin open old Joe was manic at that stage but shit seems to come to old Joe when he is manic old Joe built up a name in the town which he grew up in for being a very aggressive person and um, being able to fight and the unfortunate thing with that is when you go out with a girl or even your friends and you don't feel nice and you don't feel in a good mood there's always going to be somebody trying testing you and seeing if they can be stronger than you are, if they can fuck you up. Not a lot of people will understand that, but there's nothing quite as in exhilarating as smashing your fucking fist into somebody's face to piss you off at a time when you are manic, or so I hear. I'm a complicated person. But not as complicated as any other bipolar person. I think in that perspective we're all fairly similar. So I think all bipolar people will probably be able to recognize little bits of themselves within Joe's story. We must just not get confused to which is Joe's story and which is my story. I'm the guy who does nothing wrong, Joe is the guy who does everything wrong. 